I'm going to show you how to find the planet Uranus in National Astronomy Week 2025. And we start by looking high up and looking for the very bright planet Jupiter. You really can't miss it. It is the brightest thing in the sky apart from the moon. And it's just above that V-shape of stars which we call the Hyades star cluster. But a more famous star cluster is just a bit over to the right, that one there, and that's the cluster known as the Pleiades or Seven Sisters. Count them, there's many more than seven of them. And I'm using at the moment a lens which gives you the same sort of field of view as you would get with typical binoculars. Probably not quite, but getting on for anyway. And you can see roughly the same number of stars in a reasonable sky. So what I want you to do is to find the Seven Sisters, which you can find even in city skies once you've found Jupiter with the naked eye. But to find Uranus, you will need binoculars because Uranus is just a little bit too faint to see, even in country skies and particularly from town skies. So having got the Seven Sisters, you need to move down a bit until you see those, that little pattern of three stars I've got underneath there. Then down a bit more, as we have here. Now, you'll see the three stars and two stars to their lower right. And if you go below those three stars and to the left a bit and level with the lower and brighter of those two stars to the right, you'll see another little dot, which is actually the planet Uranus. I know it looks just like a star, even in a fairly small telescope, it still looks like a star, but you need a fairly good magnification of maybe a hundred or so to see that it's actually a planet. And for thousands of years, it was regarded as just another star. Nobody paid any attention to it. And it wasn't until Sir William Herschel, or he was just plain William Herschel at that time, discovered in 1781 this object through his telescope from the back garden of his house in Bath in Somerset. And he noticed that it wasn't just a star, but it had a bit of a disk to it. At first he thought it was a comet, but when it was studied for a while and realised that it didn't move in the sort of, sort of orbit that a comet does, it was realised that it was the first planet ever to be discovered and all the other planets that hopped out to Saturn have been known from prehistoric times but nobody had noticed this, this little faint star just to the limit of naked eye visibility which actually moved through the sky and you can't blame them, it's very inconspicuous and that turned out to be the planet Uranus, and that's how to find it in the sky.